Young Thug's cousin, Unfoon, was sentenced to nine years for violating his probation. We talked about this offline. I want to play something for you, Lonzo, before I get your before I get your opinion on this. I want you just to hear about 45 seconds of the judge sentencing Unfoon to nine years for violating his parole. Probation. You got arrested with a gun within six months of you being placed on probation. And I agree with the state that you're not a candidate for probation because all you had to do is just complete your probation and do what you're supposed to do. Instead, you were riding around the car with a gun in violation of your probation and what this court explicitly had conversations with you about explicitly on the record. And for that reason, sir, I'm going to revoke the balance of nine years and six months. And you will serve that in the Ooh. Department of Corrections. And that will be the sentence of the court. Anything Ooh. further? All right, that'll be the sentence you of the court. Them. Okay, we're in recess. Now what you missed, Lonzo, at the end is, the judge says, all right, well, let's go to recess. These, listen, people, they will lock your black ass up for nine and a half years and then you go downstairs and have a pastrami and, and onion rings like it's nothing. Like it ain't nobody's business because it ain't because they going home to their family. Man, I, I wish, I, I be, I'd be so glad when this era of, of, of gangsterism and this, and this unnecessary use of violence and all the bullshit becomes passe. I hope one day it becomes passe. It makes no sense, man, for brothers to walk out the courtroom and couldn't wait to get to get his ass back, caught back up in some bullshit. But that's what happens when you don't learn nothing. You don't learn from your own mistakes. You you see your ass got caught up, got caught up, got lucky, got some leniency, and like, no, man, I can't, I can't, I can't be free. I can't be cool. Give me the peace. Let me go back to jail. I got, I miss my homies. I miss my homies. Hey, you know, dude, if that was me, I'd have got as far out of that county I could without violating my parole. Thank you. I left all that shit alone. If I, you got to, if you, uh, did, if you get lucky enough to get a parole or a pro, a probation on some shit like that, especially when you're looking at nine years and you able to get probation, dude, you got to kiss the ground that, that, that the folks walk on. And thank God you ain't posted up for, for 10, for, for that nine, and be thankful. But instead, you think they're playing with you. You, you live in a lifestyle that, that does not allow you to be free, even, in, even when you're free. You're not free when you're free because you got to carry a pistol. You can only go on certain, certain areas, and you go on certain areas, you got to have your gun because you figure somebody looking for you because you've done so much dirt in the past. Man, it, it don't work, Doc. It, it ain't no win in the nigga verse. Ain't no win. Ain't no win. That's the only game you can play that I, I've seen people play, and ain't nobody ever won. Yep. And it's and and it's his fault. It's no one else's fault. It's not ain't the man's fault. fault. Can't blame nobody. Ain't no snitching involved. His fault. Ain't no ain't no ops involved. Ain't no snitching involved. That's you. And what you're supposed to do that you could not do, now you're going to do all of it. Yeah. Before we move on, someone had a great question regarding Tupac. What's uh, what's your favorite Pac movie? I, I mean, I got to say Juice personally, but you know what an underrated, underrated movie, I believe, is uh, is Gridlock. Oh, I, I watched really Gridlock. Like Gridlock. The, the one yeah, where they're on yeah. heroin. That's, what, that's, a, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a pretty yeah, good yeah. movie, Jim, man. And, uh, Jim, Jim uh, Belushi? Yeah, Jim Belushi? Uh... Uh, someone, someone, yeah, yeah. They yeah. killed two. They kill uh, Cool Mo D in the beginning. He an undercover cop. That the one with? They, no, no. I'm getting. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm getting confused or you are, but I'll look it up. But the one I'm thinking is where they're they're on heroin. It's him, oh, the white dude, and the girl, yeah, yeah. the beautiful like light skinned black chick, and they're all on heroin. The white, the white, the white, the white dude from uh, Training Day. He's been Training a bunch Day. of movies. Yeah, no, no. he's been in a bunch of movies. Yeah, someone help us out in the comments. I'm sure someone got it. Someone Tim got Ross. it. He, Tim Ross was he was a, he was a cat in the in the in, in uh Paul there Fink you go. pulled a gun on him. Right, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's your favorite Pac movie? <coughs> the one where they kill the um they kill the cop by mistake. Then they try to cover up by grab using a gun out of the uh, evidence room. Then they tried to get um, Sunshine 
from Eddie Murphy's movie, the lie from all of them, and she ended up lying. She t- ended up telling the truth, and him, him gang related, gang related. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you, Antoine. There you go, gang related. Yes, sir. Today is Prince's birthday too, man. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that Prince earlier. Birthday. Um, Damn, dude. Jimmy Jam. Uh, Terry. Uh, Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam. His birthday is today. I've been looking at so many Gemini's birthdays. This week. I had no idea. I mean, I mean, people are Gemini's, man. You know why there's so many Gemini's? I don't know. Let's see. When were our parents having sex? Let's see. If we were born in May, they were fucking Labor around Day. What, September? We, we Labor Day babies. Labor Day babies. Yeah, they was fucking around Labor Day. Yep. They fucking on Labor Day. They getting they swerve on Labor Day. Nigga, I ain't got no money, but take this nut. <laughs> take some After the barbecue, huh? Yeah. After the barbecue. Annie Mae, come in the back. Come on back and get this plate of, plate of barbecue. Some of this pussy. <laughs> Above the rim is what uh, above the rim is how with me too. That's man. a good one. That's a good one too, right? <laughs> above the rim. Hey, how am I while we're about talking about these movies, Lonzo, so really quick, not to cut you off. The movie soundtrack was just as good as the movie. We talked about Above the Rim, classic soundtrack, classic. Gridlock, cla- great yeah. song. And that gang related has great songs in it. Juice is a classic soundtrack. I think we lost the did we lose the era of the of the great we soundtrack? Lost, you remember, right? Every time a good movie murder was the case. The, I mean the era of the great music. How do you have a great soundtrack when music sucks? Yeah. I, I, I dude, I was watching that movie uh Superfly 2000, whatever it was the last Superfly. The music sucked and the fucking acting sucked, and these niggas sucked, and it was just a waste of my time. I wish I could get the time back. Oh man, to- yeah. tomorrow's Marlon's birthday. Happy birthday, Marlon. That's What's right. Up? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Doc. I think Marlon probably got to be the number two, probably no, probably number one fan of the show. He got, I think Marlon probably number one fan of the show. For like, and, and Rashad is real close too. Now they, they might be neck and neck. I don't know. I gotta, <coughs> I gotta go back and uh, take it, take a look at some things. But they real neck, they real close, neck and neck. I know, I know. Oh, uh, I know um Marlon number one Gemini fan, that's for sure. I'm gonna leave it like go. Number there one Gemini. Go. Yeah, yeah. Antoine says we lost the, the classics and soundtracks. Yeah, man, that's an era that is that is gone. But you said True. it best, man. The- it it it, it's, it that that right there should be a strong indicator that the music of this era does not is what it's not what they make it out to be. This this the computer generated shit, the auto tune. The uh the same old same same old same old just a different different hi hat pattern is it does nothing for it don't stimulate shit they're not licensed it like it used to I mean people every once in a while somebody get a hit but for the most part people like that that strong shit man that shit that that, that uh, Dre did and Quick does and uh, Timberland and all the I mean, Missy Elliott them folks was they were in competition like the people of the seventies and eighties man. They was producing to be to be recognized for their music, not just because of a beat. And I think that makes a big difference. 